Aloha family, Spencer Mac here. Straight to the point today. Just as I progress gradually through the minerals, and I still am, starting to pick apart the proteins and the amino acids. I want to start simply and begin at the entry level, so to speak. Proteins are long strands of amino acids. Amino acids all individually have their own properties that affect us in different ways. They're precursors for enzyme production internally, for hormones, for basically everything that composes anything in our body. Structural proteins. Now, when you eat an animal protein, when you eat hemp, pea, soy, different plant proteins, they're all composed of different amino acids. Theoretically, there's a nice hypothesis out there that there are specific ratios of amino acids that help us live as healthfully and as long as possible. I saw one interesting study where they mapped the genome, the genetic code of rodents, and then matched the ratio of proteolytic chromosomes and, um, I mean, protein-creating chromosomes, I forget the term, and then they created the same ratio and fed them that and extended their lifespan but also accelerated the growth of them at young age. So that's pretty fascinating, my friends. I'm on the trail of that. But back to simplicity. Protein. All you really need in a simple form is a complete protein. I happen to enjoy soy. Why? Because the amino acid ratio is much more ideal. It's higher in amino acids that our needs are higher. That being said, all you have to do is eat more of another plant protein. And there are ways that you can accelerate and boost the muscle protein synthesis, aka the anabolic response from these proteins to accelerate the digestion and absorption of those amino acids. Two principles I'd like to share in order to boost the, the muscle protein synthesis so you can freak out, get some gains, at least theoretically, you know, it takes time, it takes time, a lot of effort and pain and stuff. Step one, proteolytic amino, uh, proteolytic enzymes, bromelain or papain, enzymes break down proteins more rapidly, you get a bigger hit of amino acids at a shorter period of time, and you get an anabolic response. It's been shown that when taking the same amount of whey protein to the same amount of soy, whey has the biggest or a greater anabolic response. Why? Because it has more leucine, we found. L-leucine is one of the branch chain amino acids. It's also been found if you take a bigger dose of soy, you'll get the same response. So really what's happening is we found you need a certain amount of L-leucine at one given time to trigger muscle protein synthesis. So you can boost that by taking enzymes with soy, it's been demonstrated, taking enzymes, you'll get the same response, if not greater, than taking whey. Or, as opposed to combining a plant-based protein, with an enzyme, you can take a plant-based protein with branched-chain amino acids. They have vegan-produced, believe they're bacterially fermented, branched-chain amino acids. Now that term is just the term for three of the most abundant amino acids in our body, three of the biggest needs of essential amino acids. They are leucine, isoleucine, and valine. So combining, if you just get a nice branched chain amino acid product and then mix that with a plant protein, you got a nice foundation there for muscle protein synthesis and having a complete protein. Now dosage, there's a lot of opinions in that world. 20 to 30 grams is what most of the studies are showing. I, since I fast all day and I break my fast in the evening, Right now I'm taking a blend of amino acids, which I'll get to later, and I'm taking 40 grams, 50 grams of protein with enzymes. So that's where I'm at. There are our products that combine protein with amino acids. One of them, Brother Dan was kind enough to share with me. I already smashed this whole thing. It was freaking delicious. 
This is Pure Dime. I know they are an epic company indeed. And this is a blend of pea and hemp. And they throw a proteolytic enzyme in here, as well as prebiotics and a probiotic and some plant extracts. So it's pretty delicious. As well, I will share some straight up soy, non GMO, organic protein that I use as well and a link to some bromelain enzyme that I use in the description below. So that's the basic foundation entryway into protein as I see it, is getting a complete protein. You could use pea, you could use hemp, you could use soy. Preferably, I use soy because it's a higher percentage protein. There's more fibers in both of these and the amino acid ratio of soy and the protein usage, I forget the term, there's a rating scale as to the usability, digestibility of the protein and soy is just way up there. Nothing beats it. Sorry. It's not GMO. Quit freaking out. You gotta eat like seven servings of it in order to have even the chance of negative side effects that people get from um, very high doses of phytoestrogens. Which it's all dosage baby. Small dosages are extremely beneficial. Lots of research on it. I'm not gonna dive into this right now. Soy, pea, hemp, Combine it with an enzyme if you can, combine it with branched chain amino acids if you can, and you're set on that macronutrient. Protein, just put it over there until you're in a position where you really want to upgrade it. And then we'll get to that later. We'll start hitting up different amino acids. Awesome, guys. Hope this was helpful. Please share with me your thoughts, what you like to use protein-wise, your approach, any cool studies. And as always, like, share, spread the good news, and I'll see you guys next time. Aloha.